Hi, this is your TA, Dave Hayes, and uh, I wanted to answer some questions I've been hearing about crossing over questions uh, for your exam review and for future use. I have a nice trick for you on how to answer crossing over questions. So let's just dive in on that. Uh, just some review. So in diploid organisms, uh, you should find uh, homologous pairs of chromosomes, and I've just sketched these two here in two colors just to keep them apart. Um, so these are homologs. Now in meiosis and prophase one, we've learned that they will synapse or synapsis occurs, and that's when crossing over occurs and you get recombination of uh, the DNA in these chromosomes. We're gonna dive into sort of how you figure out what has happened when you notice there's been crossing over. Um, and we're gonna focus on uh, a pair of non-sister chromatids. So this is sort of a half of uh, the two uh, sort of sides of two different homologous chromosomes as illustrated here. So we're just gonna look at two of them, which is how most of these uh, crossing over questions are shown. So I'm gonna spread them apart like you'll see them usually. So there's space to mark them up and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add uh, gene loci all the way along these. And uh, these genes, I'm just gonna call them uh, by letters, but each gene also has uh, different versions of that letter. So the A gene has both a big A and a little a. Those are the different alleles, okay? I'll review. So the question of course is, um, what do we start with? We have uh, from top to bottom, I'll just do the red one on the left, big A, little b, big C, big D, and so you see that right here. And of course, the same thing going down here, you have this original genotype along that non-sister chromatid. The questions posed to you will then add in these uh, crossover points. There'll be little arrows or something like this. And uh, the question posed to you will be, okay, if crossing over occurs at these two points, what do your chromosomes look like afterwards? What alleles are along them after the crossing over occurs? Well, it's very simple actually to figure out. And what I will show you here real quick is um, how to draw that, or actually how to solve it by drawing. So let me grab a, uh, this and I'll just do purple. So the trick is to do this. Start at the, the top of a chromosome and start drawing along the chromosome. Then wherever there's a crossover point, draw across that and then continue down the next chromosome and continue down until you hit the next crossing over event and cross and then keep drawing down again until you run out of chromosome. And I'll do that again for the other side. So starting at the top, drawing down, here's the crossing over, then down, 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 and here we go, across again, and then down. And then all I have to do is read along this line for one of my new recombined or recombinant uh, non-sister chromatids, so big A, big B, big C, big D would be one of them, and then again from the other one, little a, little b, big C, little d. And I've drawn that in the next slide with sort of blobs, translucent blobs to sort of help you. So again, the same process, just find this green blob, yada, 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 yada. This is my result for one side, following the yellow blob, little a, little b, big c, little d. Look at that, little a, little b, big c, little d. And there it is, that's your answer, it's that simple. So just follow that rule, draw down until you see a, a crossover and then cross, and then keep drawing down and cross. Um, no matter how many crosses you have, you will figure it out correctly if you follow that rule of just drawing lines and then just reading along those new lines that you've drawn. So just to summarize, uh, in a uh, diploid organism, you have homologous pairs of chromosomes. After crossing over occurs, uh, non-sister chromatids are going to swap uh, sections of their um, genome. And so this is a crossing over event on this pair, the sort of up there is the right pair of non-sister chromatids. And then uh, here in this sort of left pair, uh, here's a pair of crossing over events that occur there. So that small section was swapped between non-sister chromatids. So hopefully you understand what we just went through, how to solve those questions, and, and how it, what its implications are on the genetic diversity of uh, the four gametes produced, the haploid gametes produced by meiosis, and why this is such an important uh, way that uh, genetic uh, diversity is brought into those gametes. Okay, I hope this helped.